about this crap tonight? Well, I mean, we already know what the answer to that is, and, you know, big surprise. Old man Vince writing the show means it's a bunch of old man shit. If you agree with me, you should follow the show on Twitter and smash that subscribe button, because SmackDown was boring, bad, and dumb. Starting to fall back into bad habits. It's starting to be a crappy watch. And some of the things they do with some of the characters I was enjoying was absolutely stupid this week. Yeah. I had hopes because the initial, like the beginning of the show, I thought was good with the Street Profits versus the Usos. It was a win the match, get a shot at a future title match against the Usos. And you have it end by DQ so that way you're not having the challengers pin the champions to set up the future match. You can do it in different ways. No issues with that. That was fine. But then you follow that up with Bianca Belair and Becky Lynch. Oh. Oh. You're trying to force it. Not going to work. Yeah, you'll eventually get a little bit of resentment heat on Becky Lynch if she continues to duck a Bianca Belair. But you're already announcing the match taking place at Extreme Rules. You already know this match is taking place at Extreme Rules. Like, the, the, the dynamics of this are just really dumb. They're really dumb. Bianca's not coming across well here. Becky Lynch is not coming across well here. It's just not good. You know, and I guess, I, I don't know. Like, what's the appeal here? Is it for the Becky stands that sit there and say stupid things online like Becky Lynch is the biggest female star in WWE history when she wasn't even the damn reason that that triple threat women's championship match main evented at WrestleMania 35 that was clearly obviously fucking Ronda Rousey? What's the appeal? Yeah, it's really dumb. Neither one of them are coming across well. You can pump in all the fake heat you want, WWE, which obviously you do routinely throughout your shows, which is pathetic in and of itself. But eventually the people got to react in the way that they're designed to react and the way they should react, and that's not happening right now. I did get a little bit of a boost, though, because... <laughs> Fuck Dolph Ziggler! Rick Boo squashed his ass in, like, two minutes! Other than the fact that that means that... Fuck Dolph Ziggler was on damn SmackDown. Seeing him get squashed quickly like the overpaid, overhyped fucking jobber that he is warms the cackles of my heart. I still don't understand to this day for the life of me how this company could be in a cost-cutting mode yet they continue to keep Dolph Ziggler whose salary basically eats up seven spots. What does he make? A 700, 750K a year? You can literally pay seven younger, less established talents that have far more upside potential and more shelf life on them than this piece of crap. <laughs> Fuck Dolph Ziggler. If you're saying, I can't believe you're advocating for somebody to get fired. I'm just merely pointing out that if we're going to use the budget cuts excuse, Dolph Ziggler doesn't move the ratings needle. He sure as, sure as fuck doesn't sell merchandise. Beating him doesn't matter. There's no benefit. There's no value at this point to him. And there hasn't been for a long time. I'm just saying if you're going to spend that money all the same, I'd rather go with quantity at this point. Give me several talents and maybe one or two of them will actually show something. Because we know what this turd Ferguson, this turd patch has and it's nothing. He sucks. I don't know why they felt the need to have to beat down to Cesaro at the hands of Seth Rollins. Oh, we're doing a WrestleMania rematch. Isn't there? You could have had Seth Rollins beat up on somebody else that didn't have to be Cesaro here. That was stupid. Edge coming out to make the save is cool. You know, obviously, they're going to have their match at Extreme Rules. And if it lives up to what they did at SummerSlam, then I am certainly looking forward to that. And then we get to... Happy Corbin. Happy Corbin. Happy Corbin. <laughs> Three, two, one. 
One, two, three. What the heck is bothering me? <laughs> Happy Corbin. <laughs> three, two, one. One, two, three. What in the fuck is bothering me? How dare you, WWE? It was one of the few things we had. It was one of the few things we could relate to. It was one of the few things we could enjoy. It was one of the few examples of where you saw a talent taking an idea and by God fully immersing themselves in it, making the most out of it, and you were for the first time in history going to potentially make Baron Corbin really goddamn interesting, really damn relatable, really damn fun, and somebody that eventually the fans were almost universally going to want to get behind. Because almost everybody can relate to being down in their luck. Almost everybody can re re fucking relate to being beaten down by life. Being at their wit's end. You had stumbled into this, whether it was on purpose or design or fucking likely, probably accidental. You were trolling them at first. You had something here! Now I give a shit that you're associating with Logan Paul. It doesn't fucking matter. You do this stupid shit where you sit there and you have an idea. Like people act like WWE never has a good idea. That's false. That's bullshit. What is much more fair, accurate, and factually based is that even when they come up with those sporadic good to damn good ideas, they just can't finish the job. They just can't fucking help themselves. They just can't sit there and not cut off their nose to spite their face. They can't help but kick out their leg from under their damn leg, if you get what I'm saying here. Happy Corbin? You did all that really good shit for this? You had months, months, a potential story of what the fuck you could do. And you did this? Stupid. Got Sami Zayn beating Dominic Mysterio in pretty short order. And we're going to get to Dominic eventually turning on Ray. Can we get it to it t -t today, Junior? That's all I'm asking. Like, let's not drag this out too goddamn long. Sonya Deville again, apparently not remembering that Naomi's a thing or that she's supposed to be on SmackDown. This is stupid. I mean, one thing if you were doing this was like, let's say Natalia, like that makes sense. This almost feels personal. This almost feels intentional. Not necessarily even towards Naomi. This just feels like Vince creative, whoever the hell it is, surely it's probably Vince and Kevin Dunn, trying to send some type of message to the fucking audience. Trying to troll via the medium of Naomi. When you see people tweeting, hashtag Naomi deserves better, this, this is the type of shit that they're fighting against. This, this is the type of shit that makes them want to rage. And I can't fucking blame them. And speaking of rage-worthy crap, this universal title match. Oh, it had good spots, so it was a good match. It made Finn Balor look good. Fuck that! Yet another example of how we've lost standards when it comes to professional wrestling. Sheep are so goddamn easily amused. How ridiculous and stupid it was. I understand our tribal chief. He's trying to not totally bury everybody. I understand he was put in a spot where he's got to fill some time. Got to stretch it out a little bit. I get all that. But Finn Balor gets attacked by the Usos before the goddamn match. And then he's coming out and basically selling it like it's no big goddamn deal, like it didn't happen. And it's not like a Finn Balor is taking on somebody of a similar size and proportion and skill like an AJ Styles type or somebody along those lines. This is a Roman Reigns who is bigger, you know, taller, significantly larger, stronger, has been dominant as a tribal chief, beat John Cena's ass at SummerSlam. And I understand you can sit there and say, well, Finn had a number on him at one point in time. Oh, that was in the past and you can play off that story a little bit. But this match should not be 50-50 competitive to make it look like Roman is this close to losing. That's stupid. No, oh, 
Oh, we're almost still one. What's the big deal? Oh my god, the demon was being teased. Who gives a shit? Your primary focus should be Roman Reigns and Brock Lesnar. They're doing this shit again. Squeezing in somebody that the internet fucking likes into the middle of a goddamn story. It looked like they were going to do it with Finn when it came to Cena and Reigns at SummerSlam. And for some reason they're trying to interject here with Finn Balor and fucking Roman Reigns and Brock Lesnar. It's stupid. It doesn't make Finn look strong. It makes him look stupid. Because it makes Roman Reigns and the whole Tribal Chief shit stupid. Especially because the Usos had attacked him beforehand. Roman should have squashed him, beat the shit out of him. At least the one thing I can say about this match that made good sense, that worked. And that's the one piece I could actually say works even well for Finn Balor. He got choked out by the guillotine to the point that he passed out. He didn't give up. He didn't tap out. He took it like a man. And he had to go to the point of being passed out. That's where you have a baby face lose and they come out better for it. All the rest of the match was fucking stupid. The finish was the one thing that was really good. And I was SmackDown this week. And you're coming off of SummerSlam, which was not good. And he's throwing out a couple of SmackDown shows that have also, <laughs> coincidentally enough, have been not good. Damn it all sometimes. I get so frustrated because when they have something good, they can't help themselves but to eventually fucking ruin it. Time after time after time, this company shows themselves to be incapable of building any consistent momentum with any of their shows, any of their products whatsoever. They just can't help themselves. It should not and cannot be this hard to write two hours of interesting television once a week. I get with Raw, you've got three hours, and that's a whole different animal in and of itself. But here, where you're loaded with more of your star power, you did Roman Reigns a big disservice tonight. You did both Becky Lynch and Bianca Belair a big disservice tonight. You fucked up the happy Corbin shit. Should have been broke-ass Baron Corbin until fucking Royal Rumble time in a minimum. You had so much more of what you could do. I imagine there must be people that like this show. And I gotta ask, why? 